What most of us call sleep talking, scientists refer to as soniloquy, and our bed partners or roommates may call annoying. An estimated two in three people talk in their sleep at some point in their lives. But why do we do this, and who do we think we're talking to? Many people think of sleep as the brain shutting off, the curtains, lights out. But our brains are actually quite active during slumber. Throughout the night, we cycle through two types of sleep, rapid eye movement, or REM, and non-REM, which has three stages. As we move through each stage, our brainwaves progressively fall into lower frequencies and higher amplitudes until we reach deep, slow wave sleep at stage three. Sleep talk can happen at any point during what scientists call transitory arousal, which is when a sleeper becomes half awake while transitioning from one stage to the next. Interestingly, the quality of our speech here decreases as we move closer towards stage three. After stage three, we enter REM sleep. This is when our eyes rapidly move behind closed lids and our brain actively becomes closer to how it is when we're awake. There are two different structures in the brain that control when we're awake and when we're asleep, sort of like a light switch. One is the reticular activating system, or RAS, a complex network of neurons located in the brainstem. It releases chemical messengers called neurotransmitters that promote wakefulness and help regulate our sleep-wake cycles. The other system, the ventrolateral preoptic nucleus, or VLPO, is located in the hypothalamus. It releases neurotransmitters that bring on sleep by suppressing neural activity to the RAS. During REM, the VLPO structure releases powerful neurotransmitters that work together to inhibit motor neurons and prevent you from acting out your dreams of flying, which ends up being pretty useful because most of our dreams occur during REM sleep, and they're typically more vivid. Any sleep talking that may accompany those dreams is related to the failure of neurotransmitters in the VLPO to fully stop you from moving around. This is what researchers call a motor breakthrough. Our mouth and vocal cords, usually inactive during REM sleep, are briefly switched on, causing us to sleep talk. And there's no telling what you might say. Everything from polite conversation to full-on monologues have been reported. Sleep talking is also linked to the nervous system being overstimulated by anxiety and stress. Alcohol, caffeine, and too much screen time before bed can also have an effect. Although a lot of us have talked in our sleep at some point in our lives, Overall, it's still relatively rare. Even frequent sleep talkers may only talk every four nights or so, and it might just consist of only a few words. Up until now, people assumed that talking to someone sleeping was about as productive as speaking to a log. But an international team of researchers is trying to shift this notion by taking an interactive approach to studying sleep. They're using lucid dreaming, a state in which the sleeper is aware they're dreaming, to probe the slumbering mind, so far, they found that lucid dreamers can be trained to do simple math, answer yes or no questions, and even tell the difference between sensory stimuli, all while in REM sleep. Perhaps one day, researchers will be able to hear about our dreams directly from our nocturnal chit chat. We could ask people questions while they're dreaming, coach them through nightmares, and be inspired by the wild surrealism of the dream world. Now that's what I call pillow talk. Sleep experts say that a routine before bed can help you get a night of uninterrupted sleep. And if you watch Marin's video on how cerebral spinal fluid cleans the brain as you sleep, you will understand why that's so important. What's the weirdest thing you've ever said or heard someone say while sleeping? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.